fucking god. I can't, I can't believe this shit. I need to get at least one picture of myself. Yeah, like whatever you've seen of it on Instagram or YouTube, it doesn't quite nah. do justice. Like, hey Ben, <laughs> that's exactly where we parked our camper. Camper van's back. So Nick, it's obviously your first time uh, going to Critch, you didn't come up with us last time. What were your kind of initial impressions driving in? Did it live up to the hype that we kind of set the set the bar for? Yeah, it was absolutely surreal. And the four hour drive was worth every second of that first drive in. Even the the mile or so before getting to the course, it's the build up and anticipation. I, I think having you guys in the car really helped, but like driving over that, wonky looking bridge seeing an abandoned ship i felt like i was on craggy island at one point um, but then drive in you feel like you're in the middle of the course you're like should i be here or is this normal uh all the courses around you you're driving in it was an amazing evening and it was just surreal and it was just kept getting better and better as we the evening unfolded just straight down the gap Oh my god, I got so scared right there. Um, yeah, so we uh, so obviously got there, stopped in, had a quick pint, had a chat with Jay and the greenskeeper. Uh, a couple of tasty pints again. Guinness. The pints were incredible. They were proper cream now. The Guinness guru or Guinness advisor should definitely get himself up there. It was incredible. Uh, and the hospitality, you felt like you were just sitting in someone's living room just with the warm welcome and the casualness of, of the, the whole setup. It was amazing. And just getting chatting to the greenkeeper, Critch Island greenkeeper on Twitter. He was brilliant, sharing some stories and some insights. It was class. Um, yeah. What, are your, what were your first impressions kind of as the as the course unfolded? Well, this day started at about, what, 7.30 a.m. out in Port Marnock Hotel in Lynx. I thought I was going for a casual Saturday 18 holes. Next thing I know, we're chatting to Eric Anders Lang. Next thing we know, I'm on a car on the way to Donegal. Next thing you know, we're drinking pints of Guinness in one of the most surreal surroundings. And then we're going out and playing some golf. I don't know how the day unfolded. We got home at about half two in the morning, but I have zero regrets. It, it lived up to every last bit of hype that you guys gave it from that previous trip. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah, it's just such a quirky course as well. There's just so many interesting vistas uh, or views. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely one that everyone should have on the bucket list, I think. As, as the guys from Russell Penna said, it, it's a real cross between the old head and Pebble Beach, just in a nine hole version in terms of what the scenery is and stuff. One thing that stood out for me as well was just the, the condition that the course was in. It was, there wasn't a blade of grass out of place. Every green was, some quirky greens, right? But like, honestly, the standard of the course was amazing. I was really, I wasn't surprised, but I wasn't sure what to expect. And it really had such a high quality. Yeah, you sometimes get with a nine hole course, you feel like it's going to be a bit like a pitch and putt and it's looked after with a lawnmower from some of the garden. But yeah, I think that's what I had in mind. <laughs> yeah, the critch is the real deal. Like it's a spectacular golf course in terms of its views, but also it's a proper golf course to be played. After we finished, uh, we played nine holes, went back in for a few more Guinness because we couldn't say no. And uh, then Eric and his whole entourage rocked up. We weren't really sure what to expect. We weren't sure whether they were going to filming this or not, or whether they were making it to their YouTube series. I was checking the watch a couple of times. I thought we might have been getting stood up, but entourage is the right word for it. You could hear them before you saw them. There was about three or four discoveries zooming in in one go. But before they even got out the car, they had their drones up and they had two cameramen with them, Jordan and Simon, who kind of filmed everything. They're constantly filming. And then, yeah, meeting all the lads, the film crew, the Casey's from Russell Penna. It was class and yeah, it, it was a great fun round of golf. There wasn't, the golf was secondary to the conversations and the scenery. I 
obviously hadn't, neither of us, none of us had met Eric before. Uh, so you kind of just know him through Instagram and through YouTube. Um, but he he does come out, come across genuine in terms of his love for golf. And it's as much about who he's golfing with, the scenery, the views, as it is what the score on the scorecard is kind of thing. I think the fact that we, we got to introduce Eric to Critch, I know we've been banging this Critch drum since we went up there last November, uh, and people are probably think we're, at this stage we're getting paid by them. We're not, we just, every time we go there, we have a better time than the time before. And I don't think Eric would have gone there if we hadn't reached out to him, and I think the fact that we've shown him that, and to hear some of the comments he said in the Scratch video that just got released, saying that it's the nearest thing to video game golf he's ever played, um, I think it, we're delighted to be able to get him to play there. Yeah. Maybe we need to look into getting shares in the place. All in all, it was such an amazing day out. The fact that it was so impromptu or out of the blue as well really added to the excitement and was it, it was really a feeling of, oh my God, we're, we're actually going doing this. I'm, I'm getting to play Critch. I'm getting to play with Eric Anders Lang. It was a beautiful day. The Guinness was amazing. It was a top day out, an absolute yeah. top day out.